Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going to be demonstrating our 16 inch by 12 inch hammer mill run by a gasoline Honda engine, and it runs wet and discharges down onto our sluice, so you have a total complete package. You can put ore in the top and get gold out the bottom. So this unit is completely mobile and it's run with a gasoline uh, engine and all you need is a water source and you can be uh, shoveling ore in the top and getting gold out the bottom of the sluice. It uh, can fit in the back of a pickup truck so you can take it directly to your mine site. It doesn't need a generator or anything else to run. And so you can be uh, processing ore uh, same day as you get on your site uh, with very little setup time or teardown time. So with the clutch, it allows you to engage the hammer mill at the higher RPM, which helps uh, get that, that rotor going and overcome that initial inertia. So this unit has quite a few water ports on it. We add a little bit of water down the top, and then we also have a water injection on each side, which helps keep the material moving and the slurry going that falls through the screen. This screen in this hammer mill is a 0.8 millimeter. And then down in the bottom, once the material comes out, we have this sprayer bar for added water for the sluice. The material comes out as a slurry. It gets mixed here for the correct uh, amount of water. And then it runs down this fine gold recovery sluice into the tailings pond. And with this unit, if your tailings pond is big enough or you have a large enough water source, you can recirculate the water over and over again. You don't need clean water to run the system. So here's the ore we're going to be running today. Um, it's, it's some tailings, it's some low-grade ore. Uh, it's all I had though. I've taken it, I've screened it to about an uh, inch and a half minus. And so we'll get this, we'll run it through the hammer mill, it'll come down onto the sluice and the gold will be caught in that expanded metal and that miner's moss.
All right, guys. So now we're going to clean out the sluice here real quick. And it's pretty fast. It's just these three uh, wing nuts here that you can see down the middle of the sluice. And I'm pretty excited. I, I think this thing works really, really well. You guys can see the applications for uh, small scale miner, the, the ability to put this in a pickup truck, take it up into the remote locations in the hills and start essentially bulk sampling tailings piles or ore piles or, or small veins, places that are hard to get to. Also the ASM, the, the small miners in Africa and South America and other places that you know, want to process some tons and get a fine grind and not use mercury. It's all gas powered, just needs a water source. And I think a lot of places probably can do uh, gravity feed water sources, so you don't even need a pump. We'll just wrap up our miner's moss here. And then we'll get it washed out in this pan. And this is just a real quick demonstration. Obviously our, our tailings pond isn't really set up and water's running all over the place, but um, I got, we got to get this shipped out to a customer here tomorrow and he's excited for it and we're excited for him to get it. And so in the, in the future, I'm going to have a lot more in-depth videos and processing more and hopefully this summer I can take it out in the field and um, process some more on site. But again, this is just a real quick demonstration just to show you kind of what we're working on and the advantages of some of the new equipment we have. So we'll just get this cleaned up and rinsed out. You can see that that miner's moss comes nice and clean. Just take a little bit of water and we'll wash down our sluice here. There we go. And obviously to put it back together, it's just the process in reverse. These are studs here, so they're, they're bolted on so they don't twist. You can undo them by hand. Slip the miner's moss back in. Put the expanded back in here. Let's see, I think it goes this way. There we go. And the washers to hold down the expanded. And there you go. They don't have to be really tight because you don't want the expanded to, to bow or wave or anything like that. You want it fairly flat. This sluice we have it set up about an inch and a half, uh, inch and a half slope per foot. And for the water we have right now roughly about 20 gallons a minute. And that seems to move the, the fine sand and the crushed material down pretty well. And there you go, and I don't know, what was that, less than five minutes, we've cleaned out our sluice. We can take that, we can pan it out, and we can be up and running again in, in like I say, five minutes. So um, there's the process of cleaning out. Let's get our concentrates panned out and see if we got any gold. All right, so now we'll just do a kind of a quick pan here of our concentrates. 
see if we got any gold. But yeah, I'm just really excited with the possibilities of this thing. I think there's something like this that's been needed for a long time in the small scale mining industry. It's pretty much the exact same machine that we use on our turnkey systems. So you have that same uh, half to one ton per hour capacity. But if you can shovel one ton an hour in that thing all day, um, that would be quite impressive. So it's a really versatile machine and can run many, many tons before it needs any maintenance. The hammers are our high chrome iron hammers. And we'll open up the lid here in a minute and we can take a look at the inside and the screen and all that. But this could be uh, paired very nicely with like a six inch by 10 inch or an eight inch by 12 inch gas powered jaw crusher. So you could take both machines up, they will easily fit in any standard pickup truck. Take them up into the hills, you can take run a mine ore, larger pieces, quartz float, crush them down to uh, half inch or three quarter inch minus in the jaw crusher, and then feed them directly into the hammer mill, down onto the sluice, and you can be processing several tons of material every day right out of the back of a pickup truck without hardly any any work. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but we have some gold here in the corners, so that's a good sign. But this machine, I mean, you can you can see it, it will, it'll, like I say, I've said it several times, it'll fit in the back of a pickup truck. You can take it up, it's, it's extremely mobile, so you can drive it to several different sites in a, in a week or a day and work on sampling, testing, small-scale production, and you can really get a lot of information about your, your claim, your piles, and it'd actually be a great way to test properties even if you don't have a claim on it. If you're looking at purchasing a property or looking at getting into gold mining, you can take the equipment up and in real time process, look at the gold and, and make some informed decisions on how much gold's available. This sluice is actually something that my dad and I worked on close to 20 years ago now. Um, and some of you may recognize the name, we, we called it the Pop and Son Sluice. And uh, there's lots of information online about it and the, there's uh, some white papers we've written and recovery testing we've done. And um, it's really taken on a lot of, um, uh, it, it has a good place kind of in the small scale mining community for real fine, uh, gold recovery without using mercury or chemicals. And so that's what we've implemented here. It's, it's really just a, a pop and sun sluice bolted onto our hammer mill. There's actually going to be quite a bit of gold in here for just two buckets, three buckets, two thirds full. So there's our gold from, uh, from three buckets that weren't even full. So that is, I'm actually impressed. That's, that's a lot of gold for that little bit of rock we ran. Um, so maybe those tailings aren't so low grade after all. Um, but you can see how fine the gold is. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. It's really, really fine. The sluice does a really good job of catching that fine gold. And there's even some, some bigger pieces in there. So we've taken the top off the hammer mill here and I wanted to show you guys kind of the internal mechanism. These are our hammers. These are that uh, high chrome iron hammer uh, that's real abrasion resistant. There's 20 hammers in this mill. There's four rows of five. And then down here underneath the hammers is the screen. And the material has to stay in here 
until it gets crushed up fine enough to go out those little slots there. And the screen comes all the way around 180 degrees. So there's the, the back side of the screen. And so that's what the inside of our hammer mill looks like. To change the hammers is really easy. You just take off uh, these side plates here that bolt on. There's two bolts for each side plate. So once the side plates are removed, you just pull the pin out. You can take off all the hammers, flip them around, or replace them if they're totally worn out. Put the pin back in, bolt the side plates back on, put the lid back on, and you're up and running. It takes about an hour to do, and uh, it, the hammers will last, depending on the hardness of your ore, anywhere from 30 to 100 tons. So you might be doing it once a week or two. Um, and it's a fairly easy process to to do. So we're excited about bringing this new piece of equipment onto the market. I think it's really versatile and has a lot of good benefits for miners across a huge spectrum. Uh, as you saw, we have the high chrome hammers. The screen in here is a 1.2 millimeter. We actually have a smaller size screen for finer grinding at a 0.8 millimeter. Uh, and this machine will do somewhere between half to one ton an hour, depending on how fast you can shovel into it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments on uh, the hammer mill, please give us a call. You can find our uh, email and phone number in the description below. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.